Hey, what's up everyone? I'm back and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button down below and turn on those bell notifications if you want to so you won't miss a video from me. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my before and after results of using Niacid by Slurp. And if you're not familiar with it, it's basically a serum advertised and designed to aid your acne scars, whether it's hyperpigmentation or pitted deep cratered scars. So I saw the advertisement for this about a year ago all over Instagram and what drew me in is the fact that it's a painless way to aid your acne scars. We all know that acne scars, the effective, most effective way to treat it is through lasers and chemical peels, microneedling, skin pens, and those are really painful, let alone really, really expensive. I'll insert a clip of the ads in here. at it and looked pretty promising. I was hoping that maybe it didn't look like there were filters on it when the person in the advertisement was putting it on and their pitted acne scars were gone. It didn't show how long it took or anything, but it looked like their skin was completely brand new, like as clear as day. From their acne scars. So I've been using this for almost a year. I wanted to make a one year results video but I ordered my most recent bottle I've used for in the past like 11 months or 10 months and I ordered it and my bottle is still in transit and I was just like you know what 10 or 11 months is good enough. Sorry guys. So I thought 10 or 11 months is good enough to show my results. You guys know I've been on Accutane. I have been using Slurp Niacid before and during Accutane pretty much this entire time. I know what you guys are thinking like, you know, is it okay to use it on Accutane because there are some things that you're not allowed to do while you're on Accutane. And you guys know I've seen two doctors. The one I'm currently seeing right now in the beginning when I started Accutane, she said, she handed me samples of three bottles to use. The only skincare I should use while I'm on Accutane. What she gave me is sunscreen, syrupy sunscreen, moisturizer, and a CeraVe foam to facial cleanser. So I still decided to use Niacid. The first doctor I saw that I also posted a video on that I was mentioning, I was talking about the doctor that I didn't like. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. I filed a complaint on her. I gave it this bottle to her with my first appointment for Accutane. And she was like, what is this? Like, this is not gonna do anything for your acne scars. And I wanted to prove her wrong, but she's like, "You're feel free to use it, but it's not gonna do anything. So I had two doctors, two different opinions. And I also have another video that I talk about not trusting doctors. I strongly believe that you should really do your own research because every doctor is going to have their own medical opinion. I believed that the things that you really don't want to do on Accutane is waxing, microneedling, anything that's going to be too damaging on your skin because Accutane makes your skin more fragile. I mean, it's it's clearing out all the acne, it's shrinking down your oil glands, you can't be in the sun, so it's a little more fragile than it normally is, so you definitely don't wanna be doing that. But serums, I mean, my doctor that I'm seeing now, she said that don't use anything else besides these three samples that I've given you because anything else will be too harsh on your skin. 
she was wrong because the whole time I've been using it before and during Accutane, my skin was totally fine. So, I mean, I didn't tell us to my doctor that I've been using this, but you know, just use your own judgment with caution is all I'm trying to say. So with that being said, I wanna show you guys my before and after pictures. Here I am exposing myself. Um, the worst areas I have are my temples. So that's like the deepest scar that I have. Um, you can see that and then on my forehead I have holes. It's a little hard to see that, but you can see my temples. And then right here, yeah, see this bad boy right here? Yeah, sucks. And then you can see holes. Oh, that's pretty clear right there. Holes right here. On this cheek, I have one little hole on my nose. And then I have lots of holes. These are pimples and there are holes over here. You can see that. See? And then more over here. So I definitely want to um, even that out. But yeah, those are some, uh, that's the best I can show you right now. So that's where I'm starting at. <laughs> So overall, the question really is, did it work? Am I overall impressed with this product? I, if I were to rate it, I would probably give it maybe like a six and a half or a seven out of 10. I did mention it in all my Accutane videos that the redness is gonna go away because of Accutane. Accutane is kind of like tretinoin, tretinoin turns over your skin so it's going to fade away the red marks so i don't really think that slurp itself could took care of it before since i first started it my acne got a lot worse so i don't really know if it fully worked for the pitted scars i did think that it kind of evened it out maybe about like 30 or 40 percent I'm not entirely impressed by it and I try to motivate myself during this whole time by looking at before and after pictures from other people's experiences because if you look on the slurp website you'll see a lot of people were raving this product and there were so many good reviews and people were posting their before and after pictures people have such good before and after pictures and I don't think that I really provided that so much in this video. I tried, it's really hard to take pictures of my pitted scars for me, I don't know. It all depends on the lighting, but you can see it way better in person. Like you can see my skin is still uneven. As a company, I would probably give this maybe like an eight out of 10 because they responded to me right away whenever I asked questions. They were very, you know, supportive and helpful. But the product itself, uh, I'm not entirely impressed. I'm kind of sad because, you know, there are so many people that are raving this product and I didn't get that same effect. But if you are willing to try this for yourself, maybe you'll have a different result than I do or ha I had. I will link the product down below for you guys to check it out. That's going to be it for the video. If you guys liked it, definitely give me a big thumbs up. That will help me a lot. Comment down below. And as always, if you have any questions, DM me, of course, on Instagram. I'll always leave my Instagram down below. Let me know your thoughts on Niacid. But I hope this helps you guys and make a decision whether you want to purchase this or try this 
or not. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.